Let him get into the paint. Makes sense, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. And Wade is a strong bodied combo guard taking fourth overall Clark in the 2012 draft out of Syracuse. And you know, he's drawn some Dwayne Wade from the Oh, you forgot to say the magic word. I can understand it, but hold up, folks. Don't get carried away with that yet, but I love what Waiters showed in the year. They're going to turn over. As active hands defensively, first team all rookie, he's going to be a key part of the Cavs going forward. Now, here is Jack. 14 points from him the last game against the Celtics in Boston. Back to Dang. Feeds it to Jeff. Five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Pulls up on the wing. And he knocks down the jumper. Jack's got his first two points. Well, he needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. Rose against Jack. Pass to Jones. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Rose against Jack. He passes to Bennett. Back to Jack. Fires the three. And that one's good. Jack's got five points so far. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They gotta get more intense. And it's Rose penetrating. Who's it? And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials on the contact and he'll shoot two. Well, you know, Carlos Boozer wasn't as efficient last season as we've seen in the oh past. God, and I think in large part it was due to the absence, extended absence of Derrick Rose. He was the bailout option for the oh team on many occasions. And Clark for Boozer, you talked about his offensive efficiency. Strong physical player, but he only averaged about, Steve, I think, like three free throws a game last season. Well, he's a fadeaway jump shooter. He's an excellent offensive player, pretty efficient uh, in his scoring. But most of his post ups end up in, in fadeaway jump shots. Oh, God, God, we can't let him. You know, the defense didn't exactly try to fight Shoot around that easy. screen, and that's why it turned into the easy basket. Rose dishes to Jones and stolen by Bennett. That's doubting for Chicago. They won that game against the Pistons at the Palace of Auburn Hills. And they did just what you have to do as a road team, guys. They never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Oh, no, no. no. Like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, the reverse spurtability, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. Here's Rose. After Jared Jack's score. Rose double team. Loser kicks to Rose. Pass to Jones. Shot clock at six. And he oh, no scale. Shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. That is a tough layup with a guy right on him. Good defense, but better offense. Oh my God. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Miles has checked in. Jack against Rose. Then at the pass to Miles. Free throw line jump shot. And there's the foul. It goes on CJ Miles. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Well, Kevin, in the first half of play, they're really closing out aggressively, blocking shots, a, a key indicator of their activity defensively. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. He hits the second from the line. You know, you're not going to find too many seven-footers who are as mobile as Tyler Zeller. His biggest attribute, I think, is his ability to get out and run in transition in either direction. So really a, a versatile player who's got a lot of skill and I think going to be a good player in this league for a long time. And Jack, here we go. Outside for Miles. It's blocked, but he recovers it. Here's Dang. Carlos Boozer pulls it in. I don't mind that shot, though. He's an excellent three-point shooter. He's just showing a lot of confidence there. I'm right with you there, Steve. I mean, let it flow when you feel it. And that one's good. Boozer's got seven. Going back to Zeller Clark, very mobile for a seven-footer, but his wingspan has been the question mark. Yeah, you know what? That's interesting. He's, his standing reach um, is more in the area of a power forward. That may actually be his best position going forward. His quickness is good, his speed and mobility are there, and he's got a nice shooting touch as well. 
Lock at six. Here's Dang. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, Luol Dang, originally from South Sudan, his family moved... And so here is Chicago. Five point lead, the biggest of the game. Rose off the big from Boozer. Rose dishes to Boozer. Dunleavy kicks it to Rose. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Jones. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And going back to Dang, so active off the court, helping Sudanese refugees. Basketball without borders. Numerous charities. He's always his parents who him with that, that kind of thought from us. Yeah, and he's also championed a, a lot of causes in the UK, campaigning to maintain funding for the British national team. Dang is passionate, both on and off the court. You just love his approach to the game and to life, Kevin. Good point. They've got Tyler Zeller. Jared Jack is out there with Dion Waiters. Then it's Dang, and it's Bennett in a power forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Shot no good. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Right side, Boozer. Outside, Jones. Takes a shot at the elbow. Off his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. Kyrie Irving is checked in for the Cavaliers. Here's Rose. And there's the pass to Jones. Five to shoot. Connects in the foul line jumper. Jones has got 11 points. And for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off a good outing against the Celtics in Boston. Yeah, in that game, Kevin, they did damage in all sorts of different ways. They were pretty much unstoppable offensively. Yeah, it was showtime, Steve. They showed off every resource they had at that end of the floor. Then kicks to Waiters. Leads him in there. A nice shot by Zeller. He kind of threaded the needle with that pass into the paint. The Bulls leading by seven. Jones with the screen on Irving. Fires, high post. They get it again. And the foul on oh, Rose. Oh. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Cleveland's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from the I think he might have been Martin. Four of seven shooting. Really? Now, better. 11 points for him in that last game against the Celtics in Boston. And he really kept his head down, was drawing contact, getting himself to the line. Played an aggressive game. That was a big-time help for him and his team. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Now you look at Irving and how much success he's had early in his NBA career. I think the only thing standing between him and, and true stardom right now is health. He's just had a lot of nagging injuries. He would love to put together an injury-free season. He has such terrific form and consistency on his free throw. Beautiful to watch. Double team on Rose. Oh. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Dang with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Outside Irving. Six to shoot. No good. Excellent D there from Dunleavy. And for Kyrie Irving, his first All-Star appearance last season and, and just Clark his second year. Well, you look at his age and what he's doing, really a skilled scorer and playmaker already with size and athleticism. I like his savvy, too, Kevin. He's very slick in how he gets around the basketball court. Um, this kid has a chance to perhaps be an MVP caliber player in a few more years. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Hey, guys, the captain in their last game against the Pistons was just phenomenal. He had 55 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for
for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Numbers like that are rare to see by any player in a game he'll always remember. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, but nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. The Cavaliers trail by seven. People have talked about the defensive renaissance in Chicago as a big part of their turnaround, and that's accurate. Bibbs has done wonders for this team defensively, but another aspect is that they've had one of the deepest benches in the league the past few years, too. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Chicago. Heinrich kicks to Jones. The second effort, and it's good on the way in. Jones has got 10 points in the quarter. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. <coughs> this is it to Miles. Rebound by the Bulls. Noah's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Go back to what you said, Clark, about Chicago. It is a credit to them that they've been able to constantly add or draft talent that is ready to step in for them and Steve contribute off the bench. Yeah, no doubt about that. You think about Taj Gibson, a late first-round pick. Jimmy Butler last year really emerged as you know, one of the best young players in the league. Great story. So terrific job by the Bulls' front office in, in figuring out uh, which player to take later in the first round. Then it's up in the pick for Irving, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And a look at the most accurate shooting guards in the NBA well, this season. Like there we go. And of course, Dion Waiters. Just ask hey, this group, uh, Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming the perimeter. And not just on the perimeter. I mean, all of these players drive the lane very effectively. Yeah, they're excellent outside shooters, but it's getting to the rim and finishing in close quarters that puts those percentages as high as they are. Well, he's a really difficult cover because if he gets anywhere near the rim, he can finish. Great strength. Convert in the lane, boy, that's that's tough to defend. And yeah, can talk. Even if he has to absorb contact, getting to the rim. I am catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Three lip. Tristan Almost. Thompson, he's checked in for. <laughs> Clark comes in for Lou Aldang, and Jared Jack is subbed in for Deion Waiters. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Heinrich passes to Jones. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, the Cavs have been very mindful of remaining flexible in terms of the salary cap. And when you do this, you set yourself oh up God, to perhaps happen. make a big splash in free agency at some point. And you know what's coming. They might have a chance to re-sign LeBron in 2014 with how their books look. Tyler Zellers checked in for Tristan Thompson. Miles dishes to Irving. He feeds it to Miles from past the arc. Rebound by Carlos Boozer. And that had been the rumor for a while. The Cavaliers looking to maybe mend some bridges and bring LeBron back in the mix when he hits free agency next year. Their books are certainly in order for it, Steve, and it might happen. Hey, you never know. I mean, nobody expected LeBron to leave in the first place, so why not give yourself an opportunity? You are in his backyard in terms of LeBron's hometown, so I like what the Cavs have done. They've added young talent, but they've maintained flexibility just in case. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. Heinrich off a pick from Jones. Heinrich hits to Boozer. Outside Butler. Jones sets the pick for Butler. With the lead pass. And it's a back by Clark. Three on three. And Jack kicks to Irving. Back to Jack. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Well, they pass it to Heinrich. He kicks it to Jones. Just five to shoot. Rejected by Clark. Butler against Irving. 
What? And now a moment here to take a look okay. at some of the stats for Joaquin Noah. Fourth in field goal percentage, twelfth in rebounding, and he's been using his.